A search folder in Outlook provides a view of all emails across all folders in your email account that meet a specific set of search criteria. Having one or more search folders can make it easy to find specific conversations or mail that needs to be dealt with in a particular way. In this video, we're going to set up two different search folders. The first will use one of the new search folder dialog boxes preset criteria, mail from specific people. Imagine how useful it would be to instantly lay hands on every email you've sent to an expert witness, for example, regardless of where you've stashed it in your Outlook folder structure. To start the process, I'm going to scroll all the way down in my email folders and right click on search folders, then choose new search folder. The new search folder dialog box pops up with a variety of pre-configured sets of criteria to choose from. In the Mail from People and Lists category, I'm going to select Mail from Specific People. Once I do that, the section Customize Search Folder is enabled below, so I'll click the Choose button to choose the email sender I want to search for emails from. Clicking on Choose takes me into the address book, from which I can select one or more individual email addresses. Note that you can add more than one name here. I'm going to pick Microsoft Planner just as an example since I get an email every day from that address reminding me what's on my to-do list and click From to put that sender in that field. Once I click OK and OK again in the new search folder dialog box, Outlook may take a moment to run the search, but once it does, my search folder has all the emails I've received from that sender. The second search folder we'll create is a customized search folder. This will allow me to choose multiple criteria, such as the sender or recipient, words in the subject line, whether the email has attachments, etc. The process starts in the same place. Right-click on Search Folders on the bottom, choose New Search Folder, but this time scroll down and choose Create a Custom Search Folder at the bottom. Again, the Customize Search Folder area is activated so I'll click Choose to start creating the folder. In the Custom Search Folder dialog box, I can name my folder, then click Criteria to start setting it up. If you've ever used the Find function in Outlook, you'll recognize the Search Folder Criteria dialog box. On the Messages tab, I can input a word or phrase to search for, then use the In dropdown to tell Outlook where to search for it. The subject line only, the subject line and the body of the email, or frequently used text fields to just do a very broad search. From and Sent To allow me to pick senders and recipients from my address book, or I can type an email address directly in there. I'm going to put in the email address for Microsoft Planner, and down here under Time, I'll specify that it's any email received in the last seven days. Note, Last month in this dropdown refers to the previous calendar month, not the last 30 days. Going over to the More Choices tab, I could limit my search to only those emails that have an attachment or no attachments. There are other criteria you could use as well if they're relevant. The Advanced tab allows you to search on virtually any other field such as the Address field or Date and Time fields. Once I've got my criteria set, I can click OK and OK again, and again, and Outlook will run the search briefly, then list all the emails that meet my criteria. It's worth noting at this point that my searches are running very fast because I have a small Outlook file compared to many. If you're bumping up against your Outlook account's maximum file size limit, your search folders may take a while to populate. <laughs> 